this is always one of the most fun press conferences that I get to do each year because I'm talking about an event that draws hundreds of thousands of Houstonians that is viewed by millions of people and is just a heck of a lot of fun. We all enjoy fireworks. We all enjoy the 4th of July and the city of Houston's annual Freedom Over Texas event is a spectacular way to enjoy all of the above. I am very, very excited that we have reached a point, I was a little worried, we have reached a point in the renovation and complete renewal of Buffalo Bile Park where we can actually stage the 4th of July event in the park. Uh, you may have to dodge uh, a few pieces of heavy equipment over there, but uh, the beautifully renovated Eleanor Tinsley Park, which now includes the Bud Light Amphitheater, will be the perfect stage for the Southwest Airlines Freedom Over Texas celebration. Yay! All right. Come on, help me out here. Work with me here. Uh, you're in the uh, newly renovated, I know the, the, the grass is a little brown in here right now because we just had a major two weekend celebration, but you're in the newly uh, renovated Sam Houston Park. We will be spreading from here down to the newly renovated Eleanor Tinsley Park with the, uh, the new Bud Light Amphitheater and uh, uh, all of the wonderful activities and events will take place in between these two points. Uh, as Americans, it is our duty to pause on the 4th of July to celebrate America's independence. It is an honor to pause on the 4th of July and to stop and think about why we are celebrating and what we are celebrating and the brave men and women who sacrificed to create this nation. It's always uh, an event that strikes all of the appropriate patriotic notes, but as I said earlier, it's a heck of a lot of fun. We couldn't do this event, or, nor any of the other big cele civic celebrations that we do across the city of Houston, without the help of wonderful corporate sponsors. I want to thank our title sponsor, Southwest Airlines, for partnering with us, for once again stepping up. Uh, it, it has become a, uh, a strong and wonderful relationship, and uh, we love the fact that we can uh, brand this event Southwest Airlines Freedom Over Texas. Uh, so let's give a hand to Southwest Airlines. We also have some returning anchor sponsors. You know, when, when sponsors come back year after year, it means that they feel that they're getting value for the uh, investment they make in the event, and they think it's a, it's a well-run event, and uh, they, we, we have formed a good, strong relationship. And so we have three returning anchor sponsors that have been with us for a long time. Uh, Walmart's coming back, the sponsor of the ever-popular Walmart All-American Kids Zone. KBR is coming back sponsor of the KBR Liberty Park, featuring personnel and assets from all five military branches. And uh, everybody loves seeing and experiencing close up uh, those, those military uh, assets. And then Bud Light, sponsor of the Bud Light Zone, uh, wh who has partnered with us for 28 years on the event. 28 years of, of continued sponsorship. Very, very appreciative of that. So let us thank our three returning anchor sponsors, Walmart, KBR, and Bud Light. Uh, but we have two more reasons to celebrate this year. Uh, we have two new sponsors, and I want to thank them for coming on board. Uh, welcome Dr. Pepper, sponsor of the Dr. Pepper one-of-a-kind zone. Yay, Dr. Pepper. And uh, uh, my personal favorite, since it's a local company, Nation Waste, sponsor of the fireworks finale. Yay, Nation Waste. Uh, Dr. Pepper has been a business partner with the city for many years, and of course Nation Waste is a new contractor 
with the city of Houston and a, and a company that's, that's uh, growing rapidly. I'm really excited that they made the decision to give back to the community by sponsoring our largest annual signature event in celebration of our nation's birthday. Uh, every one of these companies works hard for Houston every day. They employ Houstonians, they contribute to our economy, there's no requirement that they participate in activities like this, but they do because they believe in giving back to the community. And it's not just their sponsorship dollars. Uh, I know that uh, many of these companies uh, also have employee groups that contribute counsel. Actually, all of these companies have employee groups that contribute hours and hours back in, uh, to the community in terms of volunteerism. Now, what everybody wants to know, and I'm about to make the big, sell, big announcement, uh, who, who the entertainers are. Uh, first, I will say that, uh, again, we will feature diverse local and regional entertainment. We'll have four musical stages, so there will be something for everyone. And uh, we will, of course, have the, an unbeatable finale, big concert that draws everybody in, and then followed by fireworks making it a true Texas size event. And if you can't find the time to come down and enjoy it in the, um, you know, there, yeah, it's going to be a little hot and there's usually some heat and humidity, but uh, there's something about watching fireworks in the dark with a few hundred thousand fellow Houstonians that makes it really special. And then the, the concert is always just phenomenal. Uh, we've been lucky over the years to have uh, hot talent, rising talent that becomes, uh, they become household names right after they play us. Uh, this year, I want to announce that the featured country music, there's a featured country music artist, Jennifer Nettles, who will be performing. Yay for Jennifer. She's an amazing singer, songwriter, and musician, best known as part of the duo Sugarland, and be has become one of the most popular singer songwriters in country music today. Uh, we're fortunate to have her join us. She's embarking on a solo tour promoting her new album, That Girl. Uh, I'm going to allow in just a moment our various sponsors to come up and tell you in more detail about what their particular contribution is going to be because, again, it's not just that they bring dollars to the event, but they bring a lot of fun to the event and a lot of specific activities. But I also want to highlight that City of Houston continues to be a leader in conservation and environmental best practices. We're going to enforce our commitment to the environment by expanding our recycling efforts. We're going to expand our collection bins throughout the site. Uh, many of our sponsors help us in the collection of waste and the collection of recycled products. We want to make it as easy as possible for everyone who comes to the festival to know which bin needs to take which products, and uh, we are going to encourage Houstonians to pick up after themselves while they're out there having a really good time. Uh, as part of the effort to get all of this stuff together, we need volunteers. And so here's the official annual call for uh, volunteers from members of the community who want to help out with a great party. You can sign up at our website, freedomovertexas.org. I hope you enjoy the show. I think that, as always, it's going to be a wonderful family-friendly event, and uh, everybody will have a great time out there.